Hello, crypto people. This is Ty. I wanted to make a video and talk about all this mess in China, what everybody's talking about right now. The possibility of the crypto exchanges being banned. Is there any validity to this or is it all rumors? I'm going to kind of look at some of the reasons that this possibly could be rumors and then some of the reasons that this is actually, there is validity to it and it is not just all FUD. So take it for what you will, but nobody really knows right now until the Public Bank of China makes an official announcement. Um, the market has definitely reacted to this. So when that was announced by the news station on September 8th, it has gone down from a high of $4,600, not an all-time high, but it is a high to $4,000 in, in some Chinese exchanges less than 3600 so the market has definitely reacted to this those of you that don't know this all came from the news station out of china called kaxin uh, i'm probably pronouncing that wrong but it's c-a-i-x-i-n and on september 8th they published a paper called the end of virtual currency exchange era which definitely sent the market in a frenzy and whether this is all rumors or not so this is where all of this started now is this rumors or is it not? So we're going to look at some reasons that this possibly might just be rumors and some reasons why it might be rumors and then look at some valid reasons where this actually might be true. Now the first and most important thing is the Public Bank of China has not made any official announcements regarding this. So you can sleep easy until they make that announcement whether it be good or bad but they have not made any announcements over this decision. So that right now, it is rumors until they make that announcement. Now, the other reason that this might be rumors is Kexen is they, with their article, they did not cite anything. There was nothing cited. There's not, you know, not saying there was any kind of insider that knows this and it's all coming from the word of Kexen and to just take their word for it. So there's nothing cited on this article that could point to that there is validity of the exchanges being shut down by the government. Now, another reason that this might be rumors is you can look at OKCoin, BTC, and Hubi. I'm probably pronouncing that one wrong as well. They have all issued statements said they have not heard anything from regulators and they will let their users know if they do hear something so we can like look at btcc that says the btcc china exchange is operating normally and has not received any news directives from chinese regulators will keep you posted so i guess look at that as a positive light or not but the largest exchanges are saying that they have not heard anything from it and for their users not to freak out and have fun okay so th that's kind of some of the reasons were you know that this this might all just be rumors but like i said we're not going to know until the public bank of china makes their official announcement which probably be Monday or it could possibly be sooner but probably on Monday now is there any validity to this let's look at some reasons where this actually might not be just rumors uh, so the I think a big one is the the via BTC CEO Yang he tweeted China will shut down all exchanges he is the CEO of Via BTC, which is a huge mining pool and exchange. For someone, a CEO, to say something like that and put his reputation and credibility on the line and tweeting something like that, there's, you know, that's, it looks like there could be some validity to that. I don't know why someone that has such high stakes within PTC would tweet something like that if there's not any kind of validity to it. The next thing is, Let's look at Kaxin and, our, okay, this is a new station in China, but who are these guys? Obviously, us non-Chinese citizens and Americans or wherever you are, we don't really know anything about them. Are they credible or, you know, what, what are they? 
So Caxton is actually probably known as one of the most credible newsworthy stations in China. Uh, they do have an outstanding reputation in of not being fake news. So for them to put their credibility on the line says a lot for them to publish something like that. Now another reason regarding Caxton is they are known to release articles before the public knows. Um, there was a good article that I'll, I'll link to as well, but it talks about them taking down or actually reporting on Zhao. He was the security in chi uh, chief in China, and he was actually top five leaders in China by ranking. So he overseed all police forces, but they reported on him before the official announcement of him losing his job. Uh, so there's one example. There's many others on this article, and I will link this article because I thought it was good about this might not being fake news. A more recent one is on the second, they publish a title ICO is illegal fundraising talking about how China is going to ban ICOs. Uh, so we can look on the chart again and on the second, when that happened, the market definitely reacted to it. And that's when a lot of the rumors started with, okay, is, is China going to ban the ICOs? And so that started on the second, the markets reacted. And then not till the fourth is when the public bank made their announcement that they are Keep in mind, temporarily, it's not a permanent ban, but possibly temporarily until they have restrictions or they figure out what to do. But they did, did ban ICOs on the 4th, which led to a further drop in the market. So keep in mind, these guys are very credible uh, and they do have a history of reporting on things, even on relative things such as the ICO ban before they're officially announced. So take that as you wish. I, for one, am holding on everything. If the bank does issue a ban on the exchanges, there's probably going to definitely be a drop in crypto, um, but it's going to be temporary. I think I, I'm very bullish long term on crypto, as uh, most of you are too, if you're watching this channel. And so I just wanted to give you some reasons why this could be a rumor or some reasons some validity to it i don't know whether it's a rumor or not and i don't know what to believe and we won't know until they actually make a statement so take that as you will if you have any questions i've done a decent amount of research please comment and i would love for you to subscribe to the channel because i'll bring up a lot of news and i go over icos and coins that i like and we'll be making more and more videos. Thank you very much.